Hi, welcome to my channel, The Magic of Math. Today, my lesson is on angles. We're going to classify. We're going to name angles. So today, again, we're going to name angles and classify angles. And the question I want you thinking about today is how can you name or classify an angle? Okay, so here we go. So first, let's understand what an angle is. An angle is a figure. It's formed when two rays meet at a common point, and we call that common point the vertex. So ray one, my point, and ray two. So here is my angle. So when we go to name an angle, and I'm talking about this angle right here, so this red little arc is saying it's referring to this angle. So typically when you're looking at a diagram, what they're asking you to identify or classify or find the measure of, whatever it is, it's usually got a little arc with a different color in there. So we have all these different points. So I can't just say that this is angle B because angle B is the vertice of all the points in this diagram. So let's review how to do this, or maybe you've never even learned. We name an angle by using three points when it looks like this, and the vertex of the angle always has to be the middle letter. So we have to have this angle symbol here, otherwise we could be talking about a line, or a line segment, or a ray. So we know we need to identify and tell people that what we're talking about in this figure is the angle. So when we want to name that angle, we are going to call it angle, remember my angle symbol, and then we got to identify the three letters, the three points that have something to do with forming this angle. So I have D, B, E, and think of it, if you take your pencil, I'm using my pointer, but if you take your pencil and you trace, you start, go to B, and then go to E, you've actually drawn the angle. So make sure if you're naming it and you're questioning it that you can do that. Now you could also call this E, B, D. So DBE and EBD are the same angle. One's not more preferred than the other. I typically like to say name the first and last should be in alphabetical order. You can't change the order of B. So you can't say, oh, put all three in alphabetical order because that would talk about uh, something that maybe isn't even an angle. But it doesn't matter if the D comes first or the E comes first. It's all a matter of preference and where you've started. All right, your turn. I am asking you to name this angle right here. Go ahead and pause, come back when you're ready. Welcome back. So hopefully you remembered the angle symbol because you need that. I'm gonna start the first one, you could call it A, B, F, or you could have called it F, B, A. Either is acceptable. Let's try another one. So I'd like you to name this angle formed right here. Go ahead and pause, come back when you're ready. Welcome back, let's see how you did. So hopefully again, you remembered your angle symbol. Let's start here, A to B to C, or start at C, B, A. How'd you do? All right, I think we're ready to classify angles now. And when you classify angles, you're saying, what special type of angle is it? Not just giving it a name. Notice there's no letters or numbers on this diagram. We're just talking. And there's a special symbol right here, this box. This box tells you that it's a right angle. When two rays meet to form a right angle, they're perpendicular, and we see them labeled with this box, identifying that they're perpendicular and have a measure of 90 degrees. So we call that a right angle. Another type of angle you can have is an acute angle, and that is when two rays meet to form an angle measure that is less than 90 degrees. So you can see that when I showed you the right angle, that that would have a greater measure. So this is smaller, so greater than zero, but less than 90. Then our next angle is an obtuse angle, noticing that this goes past the 90 degree mark. 90 degree would make it perpendicular. So an obtuse angle is when two rays meet to form an angle that is greater than 90, but less than 180 degrees. Then we have what we call a straight angle, and straight, like straight line, which I always think is redundant, right? All lines are straight. When two rays meet, and there's a vertex here, to form an angle that is exactly 180 degrees, we can call that a straight angle. 
So remembering that even though this is a line, you can also name this angle right here, and it's a straight angle with a measure of 180 degrees. Then we have a reflex angle. A reflex angle is when two rays meet and we're talking about an angle that is greater than 180 degrees. So students often look at this and think there's only one angle, that it's right here. Nope, there is what we call a reflex angle, it's right here. So it's different, it's not what you're used to, but this is also an angle, and it's an angle that is greater than 180 degrees, but less than 360 degrees. So let's talk about turns. Sometimes you'll hear this mathematically uh, referred to as turns, and it's because of the way we can go around in a circle, reminding you that a circle has 360 degrees all the way around. So if we start with our first ray, we could say that we have an acute, and then we can go to a right angle, which would be 90 degrees. We could have an obtuse angle greater than 90, we could have a straight angle as we keep turning, which is exactly 180 degrees. And then we could go and have a reflex angle, which is greater than 180 degrees. So that's how you can kind of think about it as you make turns going in a circular pattern. So now it's your turn. Let's see if you can remember the vocabulary word and how to name this, not name this angle, classify this angle. So when you think about naming an angle, it would be like your name is Susie. That's naming an angle. But the type of Susie would be like you're a girl or a boy or you're, you know, um, how old you are. You classify it in a different way. So classifying is there's a typical type, like a characteristic. So it would go in a group. A name is what the specific name is. So what kind of angle, let's classify this, what kind of angle can you classify this to be? Go ahead and pause, come back when you're ready. Welcome back. So hopefully you identify that this is an obtuse angle. It's greater than 90, remember 90 would be straight, would be perpendicular right here with a vertice going straight up, forming a right angle. So that one was obtuse. Now what kind of angle is this? Can you classify it? You can't name it because I haven't given you any specific um, points on here, but you could classify it. Come back when you're ready. Welcome back. Hopefully you identified that it's a straight angle. It's a straight line and that would be 180 degrees and it would be a straight angle. So hopefully that provides you some clarification on how to name and classify an angle. I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up and come back for more lessons.